Hokey Dok Monday Night Raw for August the 25th, 2014. This is one of those shows that people tend to hate three hours raw. Because on this show, you had John Tommy, Getty Berry, a whole, uh, a sake semi, and then a same old finish. The way it showed the world was, was, it's what the open, the, what the world was this week. Have uh, open semi, whip, 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 fair, 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 you want to have a rainy bay, whip, 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 fair, 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 you second hour, maybe, whip, 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 fair, 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 and then you may have been, that's it. That's really it. That's real. That was really it. The opening set was Hulk Hogan with Fred and Shawn Michael. Why well, was good to see them? Why would you raise them on this segment? You and they were talking about the map of people of West and John Cena, and they were talking about about John C about. About a CL has a share, pre pop Lesnar, uh, brother, um, Shawn Michaels said that, uh, there always comes a time when it's like that your time has tipped you past your by. Um, Michael Kaya made a good argument, kind of. Rayfair was like, he didn't even know like what the fuck was saying. He acted like he doesn't know what to do. And Hulk Hogan, oh my god. He was WWE really, really in my opinion, try to make this guy be a You have Hulk Hogan. Who, who, the 80 fans, the 80 fans, the er, mid to the mid to mid to the 80 to the early 90s, has labeled Hulk Hogan the greatest of all time, and you have him cut a promo and back at John Cena. And I'm going to hit you with him. Oh my god! Oh my god. So, this was a waste of shit. Next, we got Rusev versus Jasmine. I got a was like, I why this rematch. Why do you need uh, this match was all right to get like this SummerSlam man. The finish was like really like we'll say continuous be up swag which is to the point that swagger that the referee stopped the man and and um then uh both the and then after the match that day both Dallas came out and told him that he had this country down and all he had to do is believe. I said last week that the dynamic could work a good in a good way. They have to they have the characters like that have a few it could be a uh, interesting thing, but oh boy. then it kind of fucked up. 
uh, by the Oreo in the we in the show where I will, where I will talk about Oreo in the review. Next we got um Ruse um I don't know who was the last man. Beige was Natalia. The match was good. good. The match was decent. Beige won at the moment. AJ Lee came out and had some kiss. And AJ Lee kissed Paige on her hand. Uh, okay, Sam, but I was like. I really know what WWE is trying to accomplish. That's how I feel it felt like. Well, they watched the same, so yeah. Next we have, oh my god. Oh boy. No, no. I'm not going to hear we got to that same. Um. Um. Oh yeah, the Usos versus Gold does the start of that that match was alright and it was okay oh, decent. And then I kind of fucked up and think here. After the match Stardust and Gold does turn heel. It was like it was like it was kind of felt like, like, um, um, WWE didn't, uh, WWE felt like this character from Baby that so let's turn it here. I kind of, it, fine, but it was a thing like, you don't care and you hate the start of this character because, Simply because they tried to kill Cody Ross's character in his career. That's how I felt like. And then you got a block last night, Sandman. Oh my god, and people are fucking bitch No, I think people were unhappy that that Lester was not never there and that they should try to at least show him on every way. Listen, Brock Lesnar was is never advertised for that episode, and probably next week's episode, and probably the another week show. It was like, damn, cause those fans realize that Lesnar is. A part timer, and that he's only to advertise it for one fucking show before Night Champion. Think about that. It seems like no fan or all you need to know the the area fan tried to make it look like uh they know something, but they don't as a, as we as a regardless. So yeah, and oh boy, the better slots, family record days, they put it, oh boy, here's the thing, this view, this story, this scene was so bad, that it was hilariously bad, hilarious. Hilariously bad. It was like probably by ne next week. I'm probably gonna do a video about recent five reasons to try to ten reasons why I probably make so five reasons why we don't like and we and. We don't want to see a pre with a Nikki Bella field. And this same is supposed to show you why.
People have been saying that Sia can't act. Well, Sia's why is another is a is a girl who is another fucking a, a, a horror actress. That her sis Nikki Brie Bell. Good cry. The one good thing about the seven was say Nikki say he wish. He be all dead in wish. In a bomb wish. That was my fault. Besides that, the seven suck. It will suck. And. Oh my. And. The show could. The Seth Rollins. The seven. The. The coordinated the animal. Yeah, that was from Mary Simmer to when um WCW did with um Goldberg when uh, in with with uh when WCW did thirty years ago with um with a uh, Goldberg funeral it said they um it said they didn't have the casket. I didn't really know if it was there were a casket there, but yeah, that was for Mary Simmer to do what WCW did to the Goldberg thing when he left WCW that um and then um and there were a funeral so that's a and then Roman Reigns came out. Here's my problem with the Sam man and the next man. Seth Foley and came with Roman Reigns. Here's my problem. Wait, why, why did they have, why did Roman Reigns just stuck right in into a few with, um, with, um, Seth Foley? At this point, I think the Ambo, I think the Ambo's not appearing. Cost of it, uh, maybe cost that change to plans to have a Roman Reign. Which probably makes sense for a storyline purpose. So, I'm not complaining that so, but why do you make the money man? We can do so ridiculously weak. So ridiculous. And it's like, Stephanie was both so strong in the Devilson, so it's like, hey, we don't have the ever to promote, to fill the studios for me, so. It's having those three by our next social one who. We might turn on our next baby, our next top heel. Good Christ. And then we have Bolt Dallas versus Kofi Kingston. The match was better to something else. So Bolt Dallas won. And then, oh my god. So, let me get this straight. So Josh Swagger got hurt and be up to a point he can't even move. And then you have him come out and be up pro Dallas just like that. Oh Christ. It was like Hey, yes, yeah, swagger guy is so. Yeah, her so. We don't, we don't know what the fuck to do, so. Let's make it a Super Cena 3, man. Good Christ. It's always RVD. Okay, but. Probably it's so much more. It's over one, and. He gets a US style shot, I guess, shame, but. 
Uh, next we have. Next we they have um, a mashed potato dosing and Damien messed out. People have been telling like she that Damien say that it's gonna to be LFA. Those people are idiots because. Because if because if losing to a two arm healthy John Cena was a dino, he got lose by not a uh, one of now hundred percent unhealthy now hundred percent healthy John Cena. And that's like better that I don't know what the fuck to do. So the match was fair. The ma not a match. Los Mayadores was easily Tyson Neal. PG Garden's bullshit. And it was like people are starting to are uh, connected with saying a little bit behind the guy, so why the fuck you make it that with Tyson Neal? Who's a robber? And all good Christ. I saw you son of a potato. So, in the main event, we saw John fucking Cena versus Bray Wyatt. So, the match turned out to be one of the, ma the match of that show. It turned out to be bullshit because Bray this man last because this man last day only four minutes, four minutes, and oh god, bitch on my head because I just turned to assist this time around. And oh boy, this was this match was to me. Johnson looks like his USA fire um a real legit tough we are uh, to mango with all this and this is completely so and all their bull freaking shirt Paul that's that can beat John Cena up like that at Summer Slam and and see the audience didn't sell that shit and he could just fucking this man off it and the boot is something. We see that get the tie this match he just fucking decimate Mega Ring my fire favorite to win the fact that John Cena career is tougher than Paul fucking Lesnar. Fuck you, WWE. Fuck this show. Fuck the man. Fuck this man. Maybe. Fuck the ending. And fuck John Cena.